So I'm here in this beautiful morning on Everon, next to a cornfield. The wind sounds beautiful in this game. So in this video I'd like to show you what I feel sets this game apart from other FPS games, which is the quality of the shooting experience. Okay, so let me show you. Now at first glance, if you look at the game from a video, it doesn't seem that interesting in terms of weapons, because if you open the arsenal for the American side, all you have is a lot of M16s uh, with grenade launchers and, and an M4, or M16 cover in. Not sure if that's exactly the same gun. Um, an M14, an M249, and an M60. And a long um, anti-tank launcher. And you have a very limited amount of mods, like scopes, you can put in your guns. So from if you, if you compare it to Escape from Tarkov, it really doesn't seem that exciting to play this game. Uh, the detail is in the shooting experience. Okay, so I picked up an M16 um, and M249. Okay, now, I'm just going to shoot this weapon from the hip. Oh, that was actually, <laughs> actually hit the, the target. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem that ex that exciting. Okay. And that's it. So, what you don't see, unless you play yourself, is that there's a small delay when you left click. Then, short amount after that, the recall starts, and after the recall starts, you can see the the muzzle flash and the smoke puffs coming out, and the weapon recoiling and the um, the screen shaking. And if you switch to a heavy weapon, it's a bit more pronounced, and you can see it more easily. You know, pay attention to what's happening. Can you hear before the, the weapon firing sound comes, you can hear part of the action moving, that shh sound, before the gun goes off. Hear that? So it really feels like, I'm not sure if the devil was did it by accident or intentionally, basically it feels like really you, you're, you're pressing the trigger, the mechanism of the weapon starts working, it hits the primer of the bullet, and the bullet starts accelerating out of the barrel, and basically it feels like you're squeezing the bullet out of the gun. And I think no other game gets a shooting experience this right. See that? An interesting part is here that the, the recoil starts before the bullet has left the barrel. And it seems like a small detail, but, but this really, it really feels like you're squeezing the bullet out. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, how it feels like with an M60. Because in this weapon, the, the delay between firing and the actual bullet coming out, or pressing fire, is much more pronounced. Can you hear that shh sound before, before the bang comes? When you're aiming down sights. So you see the secondary motion from the, from the handle on the gun. I, I think it's loose like that in real life too. Not sure. Notice how it starts wobbling around after the bullet is left. And it's just so perfectly timed, I think no other game does it like that. And the way the screen shakes just after the bullet leaves. Now the second part what makes the shooting experience really special in this game is the way you can use the weapon to interact with the environment. Okay, so as might be expected from many FPS games now is that if you have a machine gun with a bipod, you can stick it on a surface and then you can rest it like that. Okay, but what's also cool in this game is that you can do it without the bipod. Okay, you can just rest the gun like that. And you can do it with any gun, it doesn't even have to be a machine gun. And the really cool part is that the, the character animation is, is it's really nice compared to the, the, way it, the way it walks around the weapon. Okay, see here, that's a rotation point where the gun is stuck to the object. See, the character goes up like that, down like that. And the really cool detail is when you're prone with a machine gun. Let's deploy the bipod again. Put it up like that. See you now, realistic pose. Notice how the character is using the left hand to, to press the, the stock down. Notice what happens when I'm aiming up a bit more. That's what happened to the left hand. He doesn't hold on to the to the barrel anymore. He actually uses the left hand and the, the left forearm to push himself, to push the torso up from the ground, so he can keep aiming up like that. 
or aiming down like that. I think it's a pretty cool detail because they really paid attention to how to make the animations work. See that? So you have a really realistic um, weapon handling and also a machine gun handling experience, which I think is pretty important for a realistic uh, simulation game like that. And the cool thing is it doesn't also work only for for the um, the obvious place, like a, a wall or ledge or something. Say you have a pretty detailed cover object like this car, for example. Let's say you end up in a firefight and you want to shoot at something in the distance. You can put another car like that. You can use any surface on the car to so go down like that. So now you have a good frying position, but you're not exposed as if you're just using it on a hard like that. Because if you would be um, up here, you're easy to see from a distance. If you deploy it like that. But if you're down like that, and deploy, you would harder to see. Okay, now I'm going to put a scope on the gun. Let's assume there's a target up here. Now with the scope, you can see how the recoil of the weapon, or the screen shake, and the screen shake, uh, starts a bit after the shot, and it, it it still is sustained to some amount, even after the shot left the bar. And this really just makes shooting guns like... It, it just makes it really feel really nice. I think that makes the whole shooting experience in this game pretty rewarding, because you... Um, before you even start the shooting, you basically think to yourself, okay, I'm going to shoot something at a distance now. Is my aim sway good enough when I'm standing at a distance? Or should I use something to rest on? So you, you run around, you look for some good object, and it feels natural just um, going up here, pressing C, and then stabilizing your gun like that. 